Hey guys, thank you so much for tuning in to Shooting Gear Reviews. I'm Ben, and today we are going to do part two in this little series dealing with rimfire versus air power. We've got my classic Marlin 22 long rifle rimfire out this morning, and we've got my Evanex Max Air 2 bullpup. This is a 22 caliber bullpup PCP air gun. I've got this thing turned all the way up on power. I'm gonna be shooting some 21 grain H&N slugs out of this guy. And out of this guy, I'm actually trying some CCI stingers. So here we go, guys. 22 long rifle versus 22 air rifle power test. Let's get it done. All right, guys, so I got my targets out there at about 40 yards from me. I'm going to go ahead and shoot offhand. I'm going to do the air gun first here, and we're going to shoot the apples first. Then we'll move on to the metal plates. Whoa! All right, that definitely hit the apple pretty hard, guys. I could hear a solid whop when that thing smacked. Let's do the next one. Bam! Oh man. All right, guys, 22 cal Evan X Max Air doing about 870 feet a second with some H&N 21 grain slugs. That was a pretty hard smack on an apple. Let's see what this thing can do to an eighth inch thick piece of metal next. All right, that was a really hard hit. I don't think it penetrated all the way through, but let's go check that thing out. All right, guys, I got my Glenfield Model 60. This is a Marlin 22 LR, just a classic, beautiful Marlin. Love this gun. Got my targets again out there at about 40 yards. I'm gonna shoot the apples first. I'm using the CCI Stingers in this guy. They're a plated hollow point bullet, and they're about 32 grains, doing somewhere, they say, around 1,640 feet per second. I haven't shot them over the crony this time, but we're just gonna assume they're right around 1,600 feet a second. There's the apple out at 40 yards. Let's go ahead and smack that guy. Boom! Smack! Oh, man. All right, guys. Woo! That was definitely a lot more of a smack than the air gun. I think the apple pretty much just like exploded in half. Uh, yeah, way, 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 way more than the air gun. That was awesome. Let's shoot another apple. <laughs> yes, <laughs> that is fun, you guys. That's just really cool to get to see a reactive target with that much reaction. Boy, the 22 long rifle, definitely. Yeah, guys, it's smacking a lot harder than the air gun. Let's go ahead and try that eighth inch thick metal plate next. This does have another couple shots on it from plinking around, having fun, but I think we're gonna be able to tell the difference between what's already on there and what we get with the 22 long rifle. All right, let's do it. Oh yeah, oh yeah guys, I think that definitely went all the way through. All right, let's go ahead, let's gather up these targets. Let's kind of take some photos and get a real good comparison here of the damage and the difference that was created from the 22 long rifle and the Evan X Max Air air gun. All right guys, so that was really fun. Very interesting to get to see, again, the difference in power on target with a 22 long rifle and an air gun. Obviously, Again, guys, 22 long rifle is really putting out a lot more power. But guys, I think that the Max Air here pushing those 21 grain H&N slugs showed pretty well for itself, both obviously in accuracy and in power on target. Obviously, guys, what did we really expect when we were shooting something faster and a little bit heavier grainage-wise in the first place? 
versus this air gun here doing about half the speed really with something that is you know about 10 grains less than what we're doing out of this so we obviously we knew it was going to be less but just how much less well that was pretty cool to see. I hope you guys enjoyed that slow motion footage. Thank you so much for tuning into Shooting Gear Reviews. I'm Ben, and I'm outdoors having a blast with my air guns. I hope that you guys are too, and I'll see you in the next video.